Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. I must say, this looks promising. Ramsey has it. And now Coutinho. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Luca Digne plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. Leon Bailey starts with Coutinho out wide. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Oh, Derek, big moment here. the crossbar Esri Consa well fair to say Philip Coutinho could well have a big influence on this game Stuart well Derek when he's on form when he's focused he's a brilliant runner with the ball he can take on players he can go past people with ease and he's got a great shot on him as well I'm really looking forward to watching him play today Matty Cash It's with Douglas Luiz. Now can they make something happen? Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Bruno Fernandes. And space to cross it. Casemiro. Defended well. Ramsey has it. And now Coutinho. John McGinn. Bailey. McGinn. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Casemiro and the timing was perfect ball one well as you can see Aston Villa have really dictated the play and have used it really well today particularly in the midfield areas and I expect more of the same as the game goes on yes it might be on for them once more intercepting it intelligently Fernandes now Casemiro Bruno Fernandes it might be on for them. Rashford. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Ollie Watkins. Leon Bailey. Watkins. 
Is it going to end up being productive for them? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. Rashford! And he's fired it against the post. Well, not a great challenge, free kick here. Substitution for Manchester United. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Ronaldo. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Villa Park. So the ball rolling again, and no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response in the second 45 from United? Really getting stuck in. McGinn. Watkins. And back with Bailey. Has a go! Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Bruno Fernandes. Read it well. Well, the attack looks promising. Coutinho. Return to Bailey. Sancho good work from Villa to win it back Fernandes textbook defending inside the box Bailey Coutinho Shaw Sancho, Ronaldo, real chance, and there is the goal, wow that changes the equation and they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Back in action then, and you sense United have the momentum at the moment. With the owner of the red car obstructing the main entrance, please remove the car as soon as Ericsson. possible. Thank you. Ronaldo, and will it be the leveller? He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Ramsey has it. Anthony. Really vital interception. Ramsey and now Coutinho in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here oh surely really digging in at the back but still the opportunity Coutinho oh it's in a two goal cushion now and the lead fully merited
Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Ericsson. Can he get one back? Ericsson. Opportunity here. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game. And what a finale we could be in for here. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Now totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And there it is, the final whistle, and the big story here, Aston Villa get the victory. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Coutinho usually right at the centre of the creative side of the game. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.